All right, my friends, is it just me or is the mainstream media being way too nonchalant about the second assassination attempt on Donald Trump in two months? I've been up since five, I've been traveling, I'm at my hotel right now flipping through the channels and they're on MSNBC like, well, Donald Trump should have toned down the rhetoric, glad he's okay, the guy's been taken into custody. If this were Kamala Harris or Joe Biden, they would be apoplectic and melting down. And since the Democratic elite, the mainstream media, they're doing this victim blaming and talking about rhetoric, let's look at this post Hakeem Jeffries put up earlier today. Extreme MAGA Republicans are the party of a national abortion ban and Trump's Project 2025. We must stop them. Now you guys know I call it like it is. I don't work for Donald Trump. I've never taken a dollar from him, but objectively speaking, he has denounced Project 2025. He says he wants nothing to do with it. He's not gonna implement it. And when it comes to the national abortion ban, Trump has said many times in the past month, he is not going to sign a national abortion ban. Hakeem Jeffries, I don't know if he's a compulsive liar. Kamala Harris, she's pushing the same talking points. They're lying, they're gaslighting and manipulating the public. And since we're going down this rhetoric rabbit hole, Joe Biden is the one who said it's time to put Donald Trump in the bullseye. That language leads to him being put in a bullseye. Now, when it comes to the actual assassination attempt, the sheriff down in Palm Beach County says Donald Trump doesn't have as much secret service as Joe Biden because he's not the sitting president. Excuse me? Donald Trump was almost assassinated two months ago. Give the guy more secret service agents. As an American who pays my taxes, abides by the rules, I am embarrassed and incensed that Donald Trump was almost assassinated in two months. And I would feel the same way with any other presidential candidate, any other former president, any sitting president. Our founding fathers put forth a set of ideals. We are supposed to be an example for the rest of the world. This is mortifying. We're supposed to be the United States of America, not the divided states of America. And the fact of the matter is political violence on both sides of the aisle is unacceptable. And I felt the exact same way on January 6th when guys in raccoon hats and face paint were scaling the Capitol like monkeys hopped up on Mountain Dew. It's simply a fact that the Democratic elite, the mainstream media, have painted Donald Trump as a threat to democracy, as a dictator, so much so that those words have real life repercussions. Here's a post from Kamala Harris on June 21st. It says, our democracy is on the ballot. Now here's a post from Ryan Ruth, who's currently in custody in a suspect number one for the assassination attempt. He says, democracy is on the ballot and we cannot lose. When the president of the United States, the vice president of the United States, a multi-billion dollar media industry, almost every single democratic congressman, senator, etc., point the finger at one man and say, you're a threat to democracy. The country's gonna come to an end if you get back in power. Guess what? You can't act shocked when something horrific occurs. And lo and behold, on every single mainstream media liberal news station, they're not acting shocked. They actually seem perfectly fine and okay with what just happened today and also what happened on July 13th in Butler, Pennsylvania. As an American, we have free speech in this country. It is your right to absolutely despise Donald Trump. You can hate him with every single fiber in your being. However, we have to be able to vehemently disagree on policy, vehemently disagree on how we're gonna make life better for the American people without resorting to political violence. We're supposed to be the city on the hill. We're not supposed to be taking shots at front runners for president of the United States. And we've seen this political violence dating back to the 60s with JFK, RFK, and so forth. And we'll get into the shooter in a separate video. The last thing I'll say is this. There is a reason the ratings on these mainstream media news networks have plummeted. They're down in the gutter. They're down in the seventh ring of hell because people can see the truth. They're seeing through the lies, they're seeing through the propaganda, and they want to go where they can find the real news. The Democratic elite, the mainstream media, they want to point the finger at Donald Trump and say he's a threat to democracy. Meanwhile, they just enacted a coup against Joe Biden, they pushed him out, then they coordinated Kamala Harris with a few thousand delegates in a virtual roll call. So guess what? Like millions of Americans out there, like you who's probably watching this right now, I'm not buying it. The mainstream media can lie. They can say he's a threat to democracy. Look what y'all just did. Pot calling the kettle black. Y'all live in a glass house and you're throwing boulders. All right, my friends, thanks for liking and following. Drop a comment. Tell me how you feel about everything going on right now with Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, the guy who's been taken into custody. I will see you on the next one. Bye.